the NFL Draft is finally here, and it is time to see where Wyatt Zhang will be drafted. So before all of the NFL Draft and scouting combine took place, right after uh, we took on Texas, they announced the Heisman Trophy winners, the finalists for the Heisman Trophy winner. They had four finalists. The finalists were Marvin Harrison Jr., wide receiver from Ohio State, Michael Penix Jr., quarterback from Washington, and the and Malik Neighbors, wide receiver from LSU, and Wyatt Zhang, quarterback from LSU. LSU had two players. Not sure if anybody else in NCAA history has done that, but that is very impressive. Comment down below if, if you know any other NCAA team to ever have two Heisman finalists. But the winner of the 2023 Heisman Trophy is Wyatt Zhang, quarterback out of LSU. We had an incredible season. We had insane stats. We had 4,953 yards. We had 61 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. And rushing, 20 yards and touchdown. But it doesn't matter. We almost had 5,000 yards. Imagine what we would have done if we were in the NFL when we played 18 games. We played playoffs. We would have been in the 6,000s. But guess what? That's where... We headed to the NFL Scouting Combine. We had Pro Day. We did great at Pro Day. But we went to the NFL Scouting Combine. And our 40-yard dash time was 4.49 seconds. That is amazing. Incredible. We're fast. We have strength. Not the best strength. But we're fast. We have strength. And we are agi uh, uh, agility. I can't talk. We're agile. We had a 4 Four nine forty yard dash. We had a thirty two inch vertical. We had out fifteen bench press reps. We had a four star interview. We had a five star performance, and overall we did amazing. But it's time to hop in to the NFL draft. Here we go. Alright guys, the Bears are on the clock. Who are they going to pick? I think we've narrowed it down to a quarterback. Let's see. The Bears are on the clock. And their pick is finally in. Let's see who it was with the first pick in the NFL Draft. The Chicago Bears, my team that I have a franchise with. They take quarterback Caleb Williams out of USC. Great, versatile quarterback. He could run, he could throw, he could do it all. Great quarterback. Some, the interviews weren't the best with him, but people say he's going to be a great quarterback. So we'll keep their word for it. And uh, as for the next pick, which will be the Commanders at pick two, let's see who they take. Assuming another quarterback here, whether it's Jay Daniels or Drake May, we're not sure. And with the second pick, the Washington Commanders select North Carolina quarterback Drake May. It's a great pick. He can throw it. He can run it. Not the best at running, but he's a good thrower. He's accurate. He's got the brains for the quarterback position. I'm excited for that pick. They're going to be a tough team to play against. That offense, Terry McLaurin, Jahad Dotson, Brian Robinson, uh, their other running back, Antonio Gibson. I mean, Lane and Logan Thomas, and now uh, almost like a dual threat quarterback. But uh, moving on to the third pick, my favorite team, the New England Patriots. Who are they going to take? I, hopefully it's a quarterback. I was hoping for Marvin Harrison to get a quarterback in the second round. But they are going to stick with their gut and go with Jane Daniels, quarterback out of LSU. He is a dual threat. He can run it better than anybody in the NFL. Except Lamar Jackson, obviously. Maybe Justin Fields. But he can run it just as good as Lamar. He can throw it just as good. He is going to be a long-lasting quarterback in the NFL. Which is something that Caleb Williams or Drake May might not have. But I'm confident that all those three quarterbacks will make it far in the NFL. But, uh, hey, only time to tell which quarterback will be better in the long run. They're all good. But it is time to move on to the fourth pick, the Arizona Cardinals. Who will they take? They had their eye on a wide receiver. 
We're thinking my Malik Neighbors LSU receiver, my teammate, might move up on the board. But the Cardinals are going to stay with wide receiver Marvin Harrison. A great pick overall. I'm liking the pick. He is a oh, out of Ohio State. Great wide receiver. I love that pick. I think with Kyler Murray, getting a connection with him is going to be amazing. Love it. Great pick overall. But it's time to move into the fifth pick with the Chargers. So with the fifth pick, who will the Chargers take? We're thinking they're going to take a receiver. They could take an offensive lineman. They could trade down. But they're going to stick with it. And they're going to take wide receiver Malik Neighbors. If it's not me, it's my teammate Malik Neighbors. Great player. Great wide receiver. He had a great year. He had about 2,000 200 yards I think somewhere around there great yards great stats time to move on into the sixth pick the Giants will they take a quarterback a guy like uh, you know JJ McCarthy a guy like Bonin, Michael Penix or even me will they take a chance who are they going to draft they're going to stick with it and take Roma Dunzet a wide receiver out of Washington he is a deep threat playmaking softest hands I've seen receiver other than Marvin Harrison of course um, as you probably all know, um, he is a great playmaker. Love that pick for them, but it is time to move on to the next pick, which will be the Tennessee Titans at pick seven. In my opinion, I got them taking an offensive lineman, but they also could take a quarterback or a receiver easily, or don't think they'll take a running back. But with the seventh pick, they take a left tackle, Joe Alt. And now it's time to move into the eighth pick, the Atlanta Falcons. Who will they take? I'm thinking left end. Uh, I'm thinking edge rusher because they don't really have a lot of depth there with Kalias Campbell retiring. But they are going to stick with it and take Jared Verse, a versatile edge rusher out of Florida State. One of my favorite teams, Florida State. He, in my opinion, is the best defensive lineman in this draft. Byron Murphy, of course, is good. I like Sweat out of Texas. I like a lot of players. Braylon Trice, Dallas Turner. But I think he, or apparently the Titans, or the Falcons also think he is the guy for this pick. Chicago Bears, I don't know what they're going to do. We thought receiver, but it, a lot of receivers have fallen off the board. Brian Thomas is still there, but who will they take? They took Caleb Williams, and now they will take Dallas Turner, a edge rusher. Two edge rushers back-to-back. -back. The edge rusher out of Alabama, Dallas Turner. Great pick for them. I love that. Give them some more depth at that position. And now it is time to move in to the Jets pick. Pick 10. We are here. Not sure where I'm going to be drafted, but I think it might be coming up. But we're going to see where we get drafted. As with the 10th pick in the NFL draft, the New York Jets select Brock Bowers, a tight end out of Georgia. He's a great tight end. He's going to make a difference on this team. Uh, giving Aaron Rodgers Garrett Wilson he now has Mike Williams adding another receiver or adding another weapon to catch the ball at a tight end spot Brock Bowers it's exactly what they needed that's a perfect pick for them but moving into the 11th pick the Vikings the Broncos have the 12th but those two teams are probably going to end up getting quarterbacks will I get drafted to one of those teams it's time to find out with the 11th pick the Minnesota Vikings select J.J. McCarthy, a, full, a dual threat quarterback out of Michigan. In my opinion, he is a good quarterback, great size. I think he's going to do well in the NFL. Vikings need that guy because right now they only have Sam Darnold. And I don't think if you're, a, if you're a Vikings fan, I'm sure that you don't want Sam Darnold to be starting for you next year. And uh, with the 12th pick, the Broncos are going to select a quarterback out of Oregon. Bo Nix, he's a great player. I love that pick. And next up, well, let's go back. Hold on, let's just... Bo Nix is a strong arm guy. He he has everything he needs to succeed at the Broncos. Broncos need to pick up a couple receiver weapons in the second round. But we'll see what Bo Nix can do there overall. With the 13th pick, the Raiders are on the clock. Another quarterback needy team. Will the Raiders take a chance on Wyatt Zhang? No, they will not. They take Michael Penix Jr., a quarterback out of Washington. Almost won the Heisman, but we won the Heisman. I'm shocked that the Raiders took him. He has a bit of a stronger arm than us. 
I wouldn't say he's more accurate, but he's got a stronger arm than us. So I think that's why the Raiders wanted it to be able to air it out to guys like Devontae Adams. And great pick overall. But the New Orleans Saints are now on the clock with pick 15. Who will they take? Hold on, guys. My, my phone's ringing. Hold on. With the 14th pick in the NFL draft, the New Orleans Saints select Wyatt Zhang, quarterback out of LSU. We are now a New Orleans Saint. It has been way too long, but we are finally here in the NFL. 14th pick in the NFL draft to the New Orleans Saints. What a pick. We are we are not going to let them down. We're going to come in. We're going to show them why we should have been the first pick in the NFL draft. And we are going to beat up on some NFC teams and some AFC teams, but specifically like to beat up on some NFC teams because Caleb Williams and Drake May are there. So it is time to move in to the last pick that I'm going to do. I'm not going to finish out the first round. I'm just going to do pick 15. And it's the Indianapolis Colts. And they will select the corner out of Alabama, Colway McKinstry. In my opinion, the number one corner on my board. They take Colway McKinstry to pair him up with guys like Kenny Moore, other uh, defensive backs on that team. And that is going to be it for the NFL Draft QB mode. There is other picks, but we're not going to go over those. We're just going to let them be picked as it is time to move in to the NFL part of Y Dang story. But we will be introing in the next video the team, the roster. We will be doing the team roster, the coaching staff, week one. We'll be doing that, all of that in the next video. So I hope to see you guys there. Have a great week. Goodbye.